Well, now, we have, uh, pretty much completed our arc in becoming Action Hero Man at this point. Everything's pretty fucked up. Yep. Boy, oh boy. What do you want? You want to photograph anything else in here? I think I already took care of that at this point, frankly. Yet. Yeah, so let's not... At this point, we can, I think, thoroughly not pretend anymore that this is a normal day at work. There was the dead body, there was the sabotage shit, and the conspiracy, and all the other things that have gone down, but at this point, you literally have had, well, kind of had, have had, like, the third building collapse on top of us, but this one was, like, really on us. We didn't, like, escape or anything. We just, magic we just magically didn't die in the process, and that's about it. So, uh, you wanna call it a day soon? Please? I just, I worry for you, man. Like, this isn't a healthy approach to any job. Well, we're not getting out that way. I can go up. Oh no, not that bottle. Oh, glass in my eyes. Up or down? Is that chain down there? Oh, it's gonna be full of mushrooms, isn't it, with that color? Nope! God damn source ladders. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I guess I wasn't high enough. We're gonna be nice and safely above it. Even more. Oh Jesus, I almost fell again. Yeah, source engine has aged pretty well. By video game standards. It's like... God, is it 20 years old already? It can't be. No, it's not that old. It's only as old as, like... Half-Life wasn't a Source game, was it? It was Half-Life 2, I think. It was specifically a Half-Life Source version of Half-Life and Counter-Strike. Yeah, they specifically had Counter-Strike Source and Half-Life Source, which meant that they were released specifically as being brand new Source Engine versions. You son of a bitch. You... How dare you. Aha! Like I'm playing Prey again. Neat. <laughs> that totally worked. A lot of sources aged pretty well, but the ladders are really unfortunate. <laughs> I always feel like I'm committing suicide when I hop on one. Wasn't I in that room before, but the floodgate was down, but I was in there? I think so. It's always the part where you dismount your, uh, your ladder. A lot of games have a mechanic where you'll, like, jump off the ladder, like a re like a human would when they were trying to not die on their descent of the la uh, from dismounting the ladder. But in Source, your character just drops like a rock when they fall off the ladder. It's like, no, I'm trying to... What are you doing? I'm trying to go somewhere, not down. I climbed a ladder to not go down. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Don't have to go down there again. Any structural problems? Not that I see. Well, you're not even a real door? Not very nice. I hope this guy's keeping a, a nice detailed notebook of all these photos I'm taking. Because how are you going to place... Yo, you know, that one piece of wall. Like, how are you going to place where all these are? And where where it needs to be repaired? I guess it's just documentation of the sum total of repairs that need to be ha taken. So just the evidence enough is enough on its own. Why is there rebar sticking out of the wall, though? Like, that makes sense. It's parallel with the wall direction. That one, I'm like, what are you- what's going on with that one, huh? Somebody just start throwing one in the pile? Why did I- so why did I come here? Oh, I see. There's a walkway on the door itself, so I want to close it again. They seem to have thankfully given me a pretty charitable hitbox on that throw. That's amusing. I, I'm happy that happens. That that works that way. Oops. 
Aha! There's a pipe going that way. I think that's where we gotta go. I'm trying to keep in mind that there's also an area at the bottom of the ladder, but I don't know which one is the dead end and which one is the way I have to go. Uh, the usual toss-up. I always feel the need to voice it when I'm doing that thing. Well, I'm not getting back over that, so screw you. Ow. Yeah, that's a point of no return, so I guess we're going down the ladder. <laughs> and we'll come back up here. Ow. That's what I get. Son of a bitch. That's fine. <laughs> I'll come back and fix it later. That's what I get for trying to, uh... I tried to do with the Minecraft trick where you, like, skip ahead on a ladder. Wow, that is my go-to reference point for ladders nowadays, isn't it? Is Minecraft. So many video games have just removed them from their entire design concept. Like, they'll give- Oh, kitties! They're all like, they'll give you, uh... There's a bright- there's a- oh, there's a hole in there. They give you, like, ledges to jump up, or a grappling hook, or just anything that isn't a ladder. Because ladders are not fun, ever, in a video game. Well, that's fucking creepy. Why are you being creepy, all of a sudden, game? This isn't a spooky ghost game. Don't think I'm getting up there. Why are you doing this to me, game, huh? Thought we had an agreement about what type of game you were, and you weren't going to pull this kind of shit. But look at you. Look at you pulling this shit. I've done something horrible. I had to kill Mikhail Rosenthal. He was the reason why I couldn't find Walter. Rosenthal was informing him about all my plans. It matters little. I found Walter's hiding place. It's a building owned by Rosenthal, but I need a plan before I go there. I will take Eric Kleinman with me, and we will face Walter together. He killed Rosenthal. Because he was supposedly stopping him from finding Walter. That's kind of major. By the way, this character was killed by Conspiracy Man. Sure hope Conspiracy Man's right about the conspiracy, or he's just killing dudes. Is that all that's down here? Why was the door creaking? I guess pa I just I guess it was just because of the, uh, the explosion. The aftermath thereof. That photo's still taken at least. <laughs> I guess just in the aftermath of the explosion and the collapse, just some doors would be slowly nat- I mean, that still doesn't make the timing make sense, though, but some stuff could be kind of going here and there. Oh, they gave you a ton of items to throw if you needed to. I shouldn't do yet. I went and screwed up, so I gotta replay, like, two seconds of stuff. That was on me, sorry. I know you're a suicidal protagonist and everything, but that was, um, that was a me suicide. There we go. Alright, got the audio log at least. And that was a big one. Finding about the fate of a named character that we've been getting here and there. So he's got one ally left and one person that he has turned on because he thinks they turned on him. And hope he's, hope he's right about some of the stuff where he's just a lunatic that's murdering dudes left and right. And that'd be unfortunate. This is gonna not feel good. <laughs> oh, get out of it. Alright. Mmm, just rub your face up in that weird sewer moss. Mmm, get it in your mouth. This feels so gross. Uh, oh, there we go. I suppose we went and found ourselves an escape. If only we could have found this path before the horrible, horrible collapse happened that threatened our life. I thought we were going to die, honestly. I knew it was the end of part one, and that part two and three was the rest of the like the other two content packs they had to put out over time. 
I I thought because we split up into three groups, we might actually be playing as one of the other groups in part two. I thought uh, there's a there's a very real possibility for in my head that this guy might actually get killed, and at some point I was I wouldn't even be that surprised because holy shit, man! I, I suppose this doesn't open. Oh, it totally does open. Okay, where does this go then? That's not good. There's something amusing about how I rapidly throw... I rapidly put away my, uh, camera, in a, almost like in a panic, and like, I just whip it out and take one quick photo and then throw it away. Because if it's out for more than a second, it's just gonna consume more... energy. Is this an alternate exit to the same place, or what? The heck's going on here? That doesn't turn. Okay, somebody's living down here like now-ish. packs of flashlight batteries. Who the hell? I'm sorry, is that glowing? Ooh, my favorite. Come here. Oh, I can't pick this one up, but the physics. The physics is so glorious on that item type. Does it say Choka, Chola, Cola, Choka? I can't read it. Because every, everything's got to have a parody thing. Oh, hot surface, do not touch. Do slot two, I guess, for this session. Ow. Oh, apparently that was still in the hot surface. I thought I was out of it. Well, that's curious, isn't it? I don't see anywhere to go, so I think this is genuinely a dead end. I just threw their cookware in an accessible location. Sorry, homeless man. It appears to just be a weird dead end that a homeless man's staying in. I can't move that out of the way either. What is this stuff that's putting out this incredibly hot stuff? Maybe when I get to the surface, the building that we turn out to be at right now will be exp will give me an explanation. Should I, t should I photograph this? Apparently, I should. I still have nine packs of batteries left. We're not- whatever it is, we're not turning it off, apparently. Are we past 20 parts in the series yet? I ask because that would indicate that we're ten, 10 hours in, and at some point this guy's day is so long. This poor man. How much do they pay him? Apparently not Finally, enough, according to him. His favorite line besides interesting or fascinating is they don't pay me enough. EXA oil consumption, okay. Let's just close that so I don't fall back in that hole. There you go. That takes ten packs of camera bit of all the doors that you could lock. It just had to be this one. Uh That could be bad, huh? And yeah, we're not reading those instructions. Also, they're the same instructions that are everywhere, and I'm concerned about how those instructions seem to be universal at some point. Along with this box of just the tools that every job needs, apparently. Got a coffee cup. Spray. I guess I probably have to turn it off, right? No, that doesn't affect the lock. Is there an opening in the grate anywhere? There's not. In that room, there's what? Probably need to photograph that, right? That's like one of them... 
Not really sure what these are, but that one's hooked up to that thing, and this one's not, and it's spilling everywhere. Someone should get that fixed. There's a ladder to the surface and everything. I don't think I can blow it up. <laughs> Is there an obscure hidden key location? I wonder. Turns out we might need to go down there after all. Maybe now that the burner's off, I can go past the thing without it being hot. Although I didn't really see anything there to, as far as like where to go. Or... Maybe I can... Take something flammable... And ignite it on this hot surface and then throw it at that oil thing and that like blow up or something? That's... These are completely unreasonable actions. That still doesn't turn. Let's see. So you've cooled down, so there must be a way through here after all. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sure. That's where you ended up? How exactly? There you go. There's a thing back, dude. Oh, someone's been in here anyway. There's like beer and stuff. Oh, this is... Wait, this is someone's like private drinking area. Oh, I'm, in, I'm back in the room. Now I can close you. Well, now I've got more understanding of what's going on in here, I suppose. Not totally sure what this thing is, but I should probably leave it on, because it's supposed to be on, apparently. It's a burner. Burned him. That's definitely not supposed to be like that, but I've already photographed it. What? The beer's inside. The beer's not supposed to be in there. Shameful. Who maintains this place? Oh my god, I'm at the surface. Let me go. Oh. That was a car card reader, I suppose. Service to-do list. Investigate the cause of the interference with this crappy radio-based key system and fix it. And toilets. It's a radio-based key system. And apparently it's having problems? Okay. You can, t you can switch it to a, a channel that doesn't have radio interference. That's a start. Oh my god, the outdoor- look at that! The outdoors is right there! You son of a bitch. Okay. So this isn't working. That door doesn't open. So it opens on proximity? That's not working either. Also, that's probably only attached to this as opposed to both of them. I can almost read these. But I'm pretty sure this one's in German. Or, well, Finnish, I suppose. Son of a bitch. We're not getting through there. There is non-stop interference. Gonna have to find the actual source then, aren't I? And turn it off. So I can switch it to this setting, but then it doesn't work, apparently. It's a lot of letter labeled uh, cranks. Not even the not even the elevator, huh? It's weird being in an office again. It's almost like an escape after the first one. I mean, after how long it's been since the first one. 
Why are the papers scattered everywhere? This is- people work here, like, today, don't they? Why does it look like it's been abandoned too, weirdly? Am I- Like, I can- I can tell- I can get why there'd be nobody here, because I'm probably here well after hours, after how long my day's been. I'm pretty sure that's not what? to be like that. Really? There's a wet spot in some random office, and we're gonna photograph that? <laughs> is, is this place on the list of places we go to? Do I have jurisdiction here? Hey, the clock's on. It's apparently 5.10. Wow, people cleared out fast. How fast, is, when does their day end? Oh yeah, I'm pretty right about the language. Well, that's not gonna happen either. They, they cleared out really fast. Uh, last last office job I worked, I got out at 4.30, and people were still there at 6, I think. Mikhail Rosenthal, he's dead as shit, and she looks unimpressed about that death. Stahlberg Steel. Herbo Elvbeer? Evil Bear? Uribo Evil Bear. The Jelly Bean Bears. Ooh, keys. I'm sorry, how many of them are here? Oh, whoa. Dear MWU board members, for your extraordinary work on defending the rights and interests of blue-collar workers of Stahlberg, I am gifting you this industrial-sized box full of delicious sugar-free Haribo Evil Bear candy packs. This box should be enough to last you the rest of the year. I hope you will have some sugar-free sweet moments and keep up the good work. Metal worker. What? Just metal worker? That's his name? He self-identifies as just metal worker? Oh, is that some interference? That irritating buzzing noise makes me think that that's the interference causer. There we go. Was that like a recording device or something? Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. I don't think all the fish are supposed to be dead in the koi pond. But also, I think there's the same fish. Th Wait. Yeah, what the hell? First of all, I think those are the same fish that we saw on the river. Which, why you just have, you just have regular river fish? Not like, like koi or something? But also, I think that's way too many fish in way too small of an area. You're supposed to have like a really big pond for those things. Otherwise, it's like... Cruel, and also they'll just die. They won't be cruel for very long, because they'll just be dead. Eh. Eh. Don't think I'm getting up there. Unused plans all the way across. Everyone's got the same filing system for their unused plans, which is to say they basically don't file them and just... Put them in a giant lump with all the other unused plans. We need to create a filing system where we can find some of these if we ever need to find some of them. But we'll never know. But we'll never know which ones we need. But it has to not matter what order we need to get them back in. Of batteries for the flashlight. Got to keep an eye out and check every single one. It's a router that might be an interference source. No one else is using it right now. I just, I'm just i just taking their money now. How much money do I have right now, I wonder? Do I have an inventory that tells me how much money I have? Is it called the Kroner? No, that's, that's Danish. That's the archives key. Archives keys return after use. <laughs> I haven't returned a single key I've found all day, sir. I'm not gonna start now. I'm just collecting miscellaneous keys and keeping them. Nobody can stop me. I am all-powerful. I'm the Alpha and the Omega. And whatever else other megalonomiacal lunatics tend to say. Came from up there, right? I haven't been through here. I don't know if I can fit in there, actually. Oh, 
Okay, that's not that's not helping anymore. I have nine packs of batteries left. I wonder if it keeps a total or if it's just gonna be like, hey, thanks for doing your job, but also we weren't paying attention. Hope you did a good job. God, what if, what if the game and ends with no acknowledgement that I ever was even using uh, taking batteries uh, photos the entire time? Well, this goes on for a while. A nice, oppressive, low ceiling. Everyone wants one. Uh, oh. I apologize. That might be a point of no return down there. Alright, well, I want to check it out, but I also don't know if I'll be able to come back. Yeah, it's like the beginning of a James Bond game. By the way, I just tried to kick that down again, even though it's the one I just kicked down, so it's not actually the opening of a tunnel. Now where are we? Subway tunnels? There's human beings over there, look at that. Oh, they're protesting. These not open? Oh no! I've got the disease of that one, that one woman has in for Fargo Season 3 where like, seemingly all... Oh. Did I just put a coin in there? I totally did, didn't I? Fargo season three where everybody has to like pay money. Uh, sorry getting my wires crossed mentally now uh, That woman has a thing where like uh, all motion detectors don't see her all seat and mo all heat and motion detectors just don't notice her So like every time she goes in front of um Like a m she tries to dry her hands or wash her hands at the sink or or walk up to doors are supposed to open and she'll like be waving her hands in front of the door sensor and it won't let her in, but everyone else can get in and out. No bit, no big deal. Oh. Wait. What was my pin number? Hmm. One. Nine. Seven. Uh. Three. No, that's not right. You don't know your own pin number? Are you serious? Really? Uh... One... Three... Three... Hmm... Seven... Really? One, three, three, seven? Yeah, that was it. Really? That's your pin number? I'm gonna take all your money. Even though you're me. And I'm you. Look at all this money I've got. I actually, so I can actually repeat it? I can. And he's not, like, bothered by that? Okay. Help, let me out! I'm, I'm in trouble. And I don't know if I'm real, because nothing's gonna ever notice me. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not stupid. There's clearly a guy, that, it's the explanation here is somebody was working on it. It's not, the doors aren't working right now. But I'm just amused by that idea. I don't have another phone to call, do I? Oh wait, these don't have phones. What? That doesn't work on me? Union of Metal Workers. Coming soon, man with crowbar. Um. 
concerning color. An armorer has mauled. To sprinkle, pre yeah, it's... I think it's the same blue... Same nonsensical blue screen, screen as before. Mass transit. Good old water damage. When in doubt, photograph a puddle. Platform. Hey, uh, I'm at the metro station. That shortcut you sent me on was a fucking death threat, but I made it here in one piece. Just one problem. The station's closed and I think I'm locked inside. There's some kind of an angry mob outside. Oh shoot, I forgot about the protest. Uh, could you hang on a second? I might have some strings that I can pull. Yeah. He has some strings he might be able to pull. I'm a little worried that I may need to go back and explore that building because I might have been locked out of it now. And I don't want to be locked out of it. Can I go in the... Can I go in the rail? I can. Oh, I just die? I just die instantly for falling in there? For reals? 